Here we go. All right, guys. I keep forgetting to hit the record button on this on this mic thingy. It's this new new stuff. Hey, guys, what are we watching, Aaron? <laughs> 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 We're watching Umbrella Academy Season 3, Episode 2. That's right. Let's get this over quickly. Leave a like. Please do it, because I'm shooting this intro three times in a row because of my own <laughs> stupidity. And subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our next reaction for Umbrella Academy is up here on the channel. Also, full-length watch longs will be sync up with the time code available for our Super Sexy Rejects over at our Patreon page. And over there, we cover many shows with the same tier. You get the option for reaction highlights and watch alongs in Included. Lastly, then boys at Prepper, thank you for helping us edit down these highlights. Real lastly, thank you to today's video sponsor. But more on them after the reaction. Let's get to it, pipes. Good morning. Some... Huh. Lost his doggy. Aw. Hmm. Losing a pet, hard feeling. A lot of birds. Ah, <laughs> uh, Luther, you're becoming smart. There he is. There's that brain of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Damn. Oh. Hello there, stranger. You guys are real dickheads. Hmm. Hey. They did say they're going to go after them. It's not a great look for you guys if you're supposed to be the heroes. Just in the middle of the park, just beating up some random guy running. This one? This one? Uh, uh, the one here built a tiny... If she still has a daughter, this makes no sense. Again? Okay. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy... You would think Five would have warned them about how there's probably a doppelganger of her out there. You would think. Well, they weren't there for that conversation. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's mommy. Mommy. <gasps> Who the hell are you? Patrick. Uh, uh, mommy. What's mommy. going on? Oh, yes, where, where is my baby? <gasps> it's a different timeline, woman. There's no Claire here. You're scaring her. Something is wrong. Really? <laughs> you don't say. So this is like a malevolent hotel. The Kennedy Six. Oh, oh interesting. They made history. Oh, she died in the mm. 80s. Dang. That's tough, <laughs> especially for someone who, like, it was just like a couple days for her. Yeah, I know. It's just happened. Dang. Lost my girl. Time for a new haircut. Give me the sad cut. I talked to Marcus last night. Wait, what? You talked with the enemy? By yourself? Yeah, well, somebody had to do something. Who elected you, Vanya? It's, uh, Victor. Who's Victor? Ah. Uh... I am. Who I've always been. Uh, is that an issue for anyone? <laughs> no, I'm good. Cool. I'm really happy for you, Victor. Well, last time I checked, you don't speak for this family. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfectly acceptable time. Yeah, why don't you go tell that to Allison, who's upstairs grieving her daughter who doesn't even exist here? Not to mention, we've been replaced by a bunch of blobs and cubes and birds and shit. <laughs> <laughs> And I get his perspective. Your son stuffed three mini muffins down his pants. And this is a buffet. I can take whatever the hell I want. How about no physical assault? That's a shut up and listen. 
Give me one of those muffins. <laughs> Until your mom gets back, right? But no more doing dumb shit. Or else you and I are gonna have a serious problem. Look at me. Ugh, what the hell? Ears leaking. Oh, it's his power. I forgot to pack my ear medicine. Oh, <laughs> if I don't drain it, uh, pus leaks out. Uh, it smells like cat puke. No, thank you. I'm good on that. Help. I'm Ben. Number two. It is so good to see you again, buddy. Why does everyone keep looking at me like that? Because you've been dead for 15 years. Dead? What do you mean, dead? Why are you just so angry? Right? God damn. So aggressive. Number three. Alfonso. Quattro. Sloan. Five. Hey. Hey. I'm Jamie. Sex. That's Christopher, of course. Number seven. Yeah. Oh, don't mind him. He's in a bit of a saucy mood. Is he born a cube? I think so. He's Canada's mom yeah. a cube. He's in a weird birth, man. We took Marcus? The last time we saw him, he was with your sister. Which one? The little one with big powers. Vanya? It does not sound like Vanya to go and kidnap anybody. <laughs> you know, having said that, I am usually the last to know about these kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> if they have your guy, I'll make sure to send him back without a scratch. Right? No harm, no foul. Before I forget, if you try to escape, these birds will pack your eyes out and make a nest inside your skull. Why are you like this, dude? We will learn soon, Aaron. <laughs> All in due time. We will. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not appealing. <laughs> this is such a creepy ass hotel. Hey, crickety ass doors. Pipe's briefcase. I'm gonna try and get it back. Yeah, I went to see him last night alone. What were you thinking? I needed to do something. But sure not number one. Didn't we learn this last season? We shouldn't go off and do our own thing because that's how conflict starts amongst the group. Oh, Vicky's Bakery has award-winning class. Well, if you just let me explain this, this like cow hen. That's a don't. All right, on. listen to me. Just shut up for two seconds, okay? Just two seconds. He's going to try to find his guy because he saved him from dying. Hmm. We are going to Pennsylvania to find my birth mother. Oh. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Needed somebody to come with me for emotional support. Oh, emotional support. Yeah. Like a schnauzer. Yeah, and I knew you wouldn't come if I told you, so what was I You're supposed to do? You're goddamn right I wouldn't have come. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me with this. Your family, Victor. And there's nothing, nothing that would make me love you less. This must have been very empowering for Elliot Pitch. Everyone at Umbrella Academy going, we support you. <laughs> <laughs> I found a treasure trove of our family history told in expired check stubs. Mm. Rachel Hirschberg? So this happened sometime during season one? Have you tried that on the No, because my ears don't spurt juice every time I get excited. Yeah, then trust me. I need my brand. My brand. Jamie, get me my cheese. Go wait outside. I'm about to kick this fool's ass. What's your power, kid? Your mom and dad are super. What'd you inherit? You guys are assholes. What is this, the boys? They're like the bot. <laughs> yeah, they're like fucking seven. <laughs> Don't hit him again, Diego. That reminds me of Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I can see it. Please don't make me wait again. That hair foof, though. When will you say yes to me? Oh, oh god damn. Ooh. Is it only the face? Maybe. What? Dude, your chin. Does that sometimes. <laughs> Does that sometimes. What the hell? Oh. 
Okay, so it's it's objects too. Are oh, you getting tired now? The car's getting weaker? Not even close. <laughs> so Diego's just used to the pain, I guess. <laughs> Not that bad, alright? Stop crying, alright? Oh, her glands. Oh, Hell, it's disgusting. Oh, good nice. job, kid. He who fights and walks away lives to fight another. Some lame ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. That's a great scene. Yeah. <laughs> I like that the messed up face guy a lot. I think he's an enjoyable character. I like it's the way they flesh out his personality. Good luck. Wait, you're not coming? This one you gotta do a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can do that, sure. Wait, shouldn't he not go here because of the doppelganger thing in the first place? I'm looking for Rachel Hirschberg. No, Rachel. Okay, well, that's a shame. Ow! I thought you people were supposed to be nice. You have ruined the Amish for me. <laughs> <laughs> why do Amish dudes never have mustaches? Or why are they depicted never having mustaches? Always trips me out. So that's his mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> this place is <laughs> <laughs> I love how much he loves being here. <laughs> You're actually really sweet. If I could, I'd get out of here in a heartbeat. Why? And I know there are better places out there in the world, and one day I want to see them all. Don't trust her. I spent a little time on the moon. What? That is so cool. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Oh the my, moon. Oh my god, no one ever thinks that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys staying anyway? Oh, just some dumpy hotel downtown. Uh, the hotel. You're trying to honey trick me. No, no, no. No, of course. Luther, you're so stupid. Oh, wow, you really think the moon is cool? <laughs> <laughs> ben would like a word. Go get cleaned up. Where are you having a good time? Okay, she she's either playing him or is like she actually likes him and the family wants I think her she's to play been assigned him. to play him, but yeah. she's actually like him. Yeah. Who do you think you are, Morbius? <laughs> uh -huh. Watching people from low angles. No, all the cows. No. What's going on? What's going on? Merge with it, Grace. Become one. Merge with it. Did they create an incursion? Where's the Illuminati to tell them? You know Rachel, don't you? She's my sister. Where can I find her? Young man, she's been dead for over 30 years. How did she die? Brain hemorrhage. Mm. When did she die again? She passed October 1st, 1989. Oh, yikes. It's my birthday. You need to leave now. Unless that's Rachel. Unless that is Rachel. Just change your name. You spent a whole year not really giving a shit about that kid. <laughs> <laughs> tried it he ended up in vietnam and i can't handle another screw up victor i swear to god I can't. and when you came back and the timeline was different you didn't think maybe that wouldn't be there too it didn't even occur to you five is an asshole but he's not a monster kind of murdered the bureau so Mm. Oh. Whoa. It's now or never. 
I don't think I don't think it's Klaus gonna, get in the fucking car. Goddamn, Klaus. <laughs> Use some ghosts or something. Freak him out. My mom died here before I was even born. How'd she die before he was born? Or on the day he was born. Didn't Harlan have to have the, the headphone things on too? It's probably him. I think, yeah, I think it's definitely him. Oh. Ice powers? You couldn't breathe, but it doesn't look like your family is coming anytime soon. Oh, no, I'm sure they're just, you know, working out the final details. And Traitor, wearing Sparrow merch. Let Marcus go. And if any of you hurt one hair on him, we'll come for you. You'll do as we say, or else. Hurts. In my brain. Got it. Don't forget your toe pack. Don't forget that, get that stick out of your ass. Jesus. Hope you enjoyed your stay. I like how he gets a toe pack. There is a boys like quality to them of uh yeah, very definitely. obsessed with branding. Right. Not as messed up, but still, yeah. Not what they perceive to be to the public. But they're not even trying that hard oh, to hide shit. their real nature though. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Smart. Oh. She's mirror powers. Yeah. She's clever girl, clever girl. I need to be able to react to danger. On a moment's notice. How am I supposed to do that <laughs> when I'm playing wet nurse to a 12 year old? You're his dad. I'll let you dad. <laughs> At least you have a kid. You insensitive prick. <laughs> where's, every, where's Luther? I haven't seen him. No. Does anybody know where? The, okay, you know what? We got bigger problems to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers don't even care. <laughs> These are our mothers. Oh. They all died on the exact same day, October 1st, 1989. It's our birthday. Not anymore, it isn't. They all died before we were born. Oh, my God. Whoa. I'm saying when we jumped here, we created a time paradox. And not just any paradox, but this is the grandfather paradox. <laughs> they died? Were they killed by Hargraves, you think? Oh. Ooh, maybe. This guy's always getting the romantic stories. Things look so bad everywhere. Why is Hargreaves just like a normal old man in this in this time? <laughs> <laughs> I love the moon. Nice. He just said, fuck fucking my sister. Hey. <laughs> you <can> do both. <laughs> Where's a candle when you need one? <laughs> I like that episode a lot better. way more. Yeah. yeah, that was much better. Damn, right. that, that was pretty good. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. All right, all right. Uh, more my jam. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's chitty. Ch- chitty. Thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Being the cinematic artisans we obviously are, we are always in search of ways to make our videos look better, faster, and most of all, for cheap. (laughs) Cheap is good! And if you're a content creator or filmmaker or anything in between, you're probably in a similar position. It's tough to get your content looking as good as it can be without breaking the bank or burning yourself out in the process, which is why I heavily encourage you guys to check out what Storyblocks has to offer. Cheap is good! Do you feel like this is their way of telling us that the videos could be looking better? Yes. 
whether it's the credibility of an exotic establishing shot, the soothing comfort of the perfect music bed, or just the satisfaction of increasing your graphical capability. Storybox has an incredibly inclusive and diverse library of faces, places, sounds, titles, transitions, filters, and effects. And more. Over a million assets, royalty free, and available for personal and commercial use with your membership. Sounds so affordable. <laughs> it is it's quite affordable. They have multiple subscription levels to suit your exact needs, whether you're an independent indie solo creator or a whole team. So if you want to learn more, head on down to our link in the description box and get started. That's at storyblocks.com slash rejects. Now back to the video. Yeah, I like that one way more than the first episode by a lot. Like this is this, this in some ways should have just in the, the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the Umbrella Academy yeah. we were waiting for. This is much more, much more the jam, especially with like having an actual mysterious, intriguing plot there at the end with what, because um, it started clicking for me what they were doing in the first episode. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be, you know, that everything is not as dire consequences because uh, there's no apocalypse happening. It's fine. Everything's fine. And, and I, I really got where five was coming from. Uh, this time around, put me in a different mindset with this character of, guys, I've been fighting for years and years. I grew into an old man, came back as a young boy, and I'm still killing and fighting. And this is the one timeline where it seems like everything could actually just be fine. So it might not be what we were looking for, but it's going to work. <laughs> and, you know, him just trying to retire and, and find a new sense of everyone's just kind of finding a new sense of stability or purpose and a, a point of existence in their life here and so i, I really thought that like the the setup they had at, at the end there, i'm like oh that's really interesting that's really intriguing like what did happen to them and you know what is this exploding alien thing that grace is becoming subservient to uh, down in the basement you know it, it's there is something really menacing about what's going on there um, and, and I, I thought I, I think everything about this one was pretty pretty solid uh, over all, all around I really liked uh and what you think about like Miguel and Astro? <laughs> Whatever the hell that kid's name is. I, don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get the kid's name. I thought that was fun. You know, I thought like the the initial premise of them like, oh, I got to beat that dude up in the the convenience store was a little hokey. But then the execution of that concept was really fun and really cool. And I like to I liked getting to see them bond and then them <laughs> and then beat up each other. Uh, and Diego just has like immunity to pain apparently, or maybe that was something from before but just seeing them interact was very cool and then i'm still uh, trying to understand what the powers are on that guy because i thought it was like an instant deflection or reflection yeah. but then it seemed like at times it wasn't happening i think it was just diego hitting him and then but diego just didn't have a reaction to it but other times he would have a reaction to it so i don't know but all i know is i was wondering if it was just uh like physically punching him but then we saw when uh when, <laughs> when ashtray threw the knife uh it cut him and uh, in addition to cutting the guy he threw it at. So I was like, okay, interesting. And then, yeah, she really has like a, almost like a snake venom kind of thing. Yeah. When oh. she spits her her black juice. I do find you <laughs> the black juice. Uh, <laughs> I do, yes. Could sound like something else, Aaron. Um, <laughs> but I did, I did like, I think the, out of the two personalities, I think they're the most intriguing personalities out of the Sparrow Academy, the ones they fought in the convenience store. Yeah. And I do think that, uh, you know, Diego and, and Astro, I will learn his name eventually. Uh, <laughs> Astro is who we played on, on, on um, Euphoria. Uh, Euphoria, yeah. And uh, I do think that they have good chemistry. Like, I believe them as this, like, father and son, like, they're becoming father and son. But I, I, I see the dynamic. I see the chemistry. And so I, it really dawned on me there. And I like the setup of Diego being like, I promised myself I'd be a good dad. She's kind of getting my fucking way right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like he's, he's going to his, he is doing what Hargraves would do. Right. <laughs> and he doesn't even realize it. They're just like kind of being like short with him and, and not taking the time and like rejecting him. <laughs> you know, he, he is doing the stuff, but in his own way. Right. Without realizing he's doing it. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's really nuanced in the way that's being fleshed out. Yeah. You um, kind of take on those things, those, those, those habits or those traits of your parental figure. And I think them, how they display that is pretty clever and that's going to be part of his arc and there is a um, meta quality to the whole thing with um, uh, Victor the transition uh, here you know because I mean 
I don't know. Like, uh, I remember in season one, uh, Vanya had a boyfriend, right? That yeah. was the whole thing. Yeah, he was yeah, like yeah. kind of like fucked up guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think it was the whole thing about she went her whole life not feeling val- validated and invisible. And the fact that this person was manipulating her and and showing her that she is seen, which was what made her attracted. And I think that with. Uh, yeah. In yeah. the first. And yeah. Yeah. In that one, she felt seen and like understood, but he's really playing her. But in the, in the second season, she really found true love and connection. She found herself and then realized that she wasn't the person that she felt um, internally. So yeah. them kind of embracing that. And I, I really like to see that for the most part, from what we've seen so far, the family really embracing Victor and like that change. <laughs> They're like really on board with it um, pretty immediately. And I think that, you know, that family dynamic and then like them not that not affecting their bond was was something really powerful to see and i think that's really gonna resonate with some people no oh, absolutely i feel like that that is a good way it's like part of me goes i kind of crit because i have no issues with elliot page i really couldn't give two shits <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like good good for elliot page um it, uh but but there is that part of it's like i want a little bit of conflict i want a, not a conflict but like some type of tension from it yeah yeah i just i found myself just kind of craving it because it's it seems like the way they were tr- maybe this is my own projections happening do you want around it within it. the family like tension within the family of that i don't even know thing? if it's tension but just like a little bit of having to adjust to it yeah everyone yeah. accepted really fast. everyone's like yeah elliot page the actor <laughs> 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 we're doing this for elliot page which is cool like i think that's great um i, I think in terms of just the writing of it and that's why i mean a lot of some of it starts feeling a little bit meta because mm-hmm. it seems like a big thing they've now been inclusive about f- f- in support of elliot page yeah so I, there's i have no issue with that it's really the like yeah but what i really respect though is how they are using, you know, the fact that Elliot Page has now come out and they are implemented into the character with Victor of, because I don't know if that was always the plan. It doesn't strike me that it was always the plan, but including that with the character of watching Victor change as a person too, more than just, yeah, transgender, got it, you know, new name and all that. And it's, it's the fact that uh, Victor seems more self-assured, more confident. Like that is a cool way to portray Victor, uh, and, and not just transition. How, but also show no. This is a different person now, and this person is much more um, at ter- um, at ease with with oneself. I think that was great. Like that to me was more powerful than them having to have a scene with like what what's going on here. You're you always have been. I will, know? I will say as we're talking about it, and it's making me think a little bit more and. You know, I, I do support and understand the the concept of someone not feeling comfortable within their own skin. Um, it all f- seemingly happened really fast, I'll say, though. I'll say that's my only thing. I, I support the decision of them doing it. I think I would have liked to have seen that be uh, Vanya's personal journey into becoming Victor instead of it just like, I'm going to get a haircut. Hey, I'm Victor now. And everyone's like, OK, cool. I would have I would have liked to see some sort of yeah. progression with that. But that being said. Um, well, it seemed like it moved fast because of the fact that, like, we know Elliot Page is, is now Elliot Page. Yeah, we don't wear this fucking wig anymore. That's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's yeah. what it, that's what it was. I will say, like, overall, I I did enjoy the episode a lot more uh, than the first episode that we watched. I will say I didn't love it though. I will say I had a couple of issues. Like, I know that the, the character of Ben's supposed to be like, you know, it's not the one that we're used to. I just. I don't know what, if it's like the, the writing of the character, the way he's performing. I just really don't enjoy it's watching both. him on screen. I think the acting and the writing of the character is is not. I really liked Ben a lot in the other in the two. previous seasons. Yeah, yeah. I, the thing is, it just doesn't seem believable. Yeah, it, it, like he doesn't strike. Like I, he's too angsty for I, no reason. It just seems fake. It seems like he's feigning all this, and it doesn't seem purposeful that it's supposed to be fake. It doesn't feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't feel authentic. It, I would say. It, yeah, none of it feels. It feels like I'm watching a performance and and weird writing. <laughs> yeah, um, and and uh, and I don't even have like the. 
this like strong like love for Ben the care like I've, I've always really liked Ben but I've never had like this big fondness for Ben so it's not like I have a hard time separating myself from that version of, that has nothing to do with that it's really just there's it seems false it seems fake yeah but you see like I I like this episode a lot and there's a lot that I and there's quite a bit that I loved about it because I did feel some of that suspense come in um, eventually that that is a big part of what gravity takes one towards this show you know we are building up what lila's really doing i'm getting a sense of mystery about this hotel in some ways like i feel like it's going to become something that's more important um i liked five getting back into the mix of it all and and uh, uh um this stuff with um oh my god what well, allison um with allison yeah you know it's like i had to move past it pretty quick because it was really obvious that her kid wouldn't exist like no shit, you didn't even bother to question it. Yeah, that's 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 what I was talking about in the first episode. Like r obvious questions that should be r risen up, like as a natural result yeah. of the event of the story. True, true. But characters don't come to those realizations because we need plot to unfold. Yeah. That being said, I didn't care for how it unfolded initially, but the fact that she's going so through some like distortion mental thing, mm -hmm. I think that's pretty interesting, and I'm curious to see where that evolves into. And I liked her scene with Victor quite a bit. I think the way they handled that was a really great way to, to do it. Because, yeah, I think there was... That felt less awkward to me. The first, <laughs> yeah. The first scene felt like it was, was like, really awkward. We accept you, Elliot Page. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is this feels like yeah. like feel a like writer not, mandated into like, the script. Yeah, I feel like we're now watching a behind the scenes decision. And not yeah, exactly. A, and not exactly. A, uh, <laughs> the second one felt really authentic. I was like, oh, and yeah. <laughs> I was just like, first like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I I really support the decision. I like the fact that uh, both the character and the actor are doing something with in, that's more comfortable within their skin. Because I think uh, I, I did like the way they they transitioned out of it though with number five. I like, I'm happy for you, Victor. But you still shouldn't be doing this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that was like a really great transition. Of, I felt, like, I felt we, authentic to him. We accept you, but no, no, no. You're not number one. <laughs> I really loved I really loved Luther a lot in this episode though. That's Same. something I genuinely loved. Like yeah, him. He's always been great. I like the twists of the the unveiling of him like really going cool. like, this Sparrow Academy's all right. I yeah. I really enjoyed his performance a lot here. And um I do find his I I don't know how you, I, I'm going to make some signals from you about it. Uh the the, the oh, what is what is that girl's name? Sophie? No, nah, not so Sophie. Sloan? Sloan. Sloan. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I actually buy their chemistry a lot. I've always thought the Allison thing was a little weird. Um, no, I was, yeah. just, I was just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was, don't fuck your sister, <laughs> no. whoever you are. Uh, no, no I, th I just thought it was it happened a little fast, but that being said, I buy the chemistry and as the scene played on i was like oh, okay it's the whole thing of like she's the she's like the pure-hearted one of the group of like crazy people and they're their bond it makes sense. I believe I believe their chemistry. I was just I was just a little suspicious because I'm just suspicious of, of characters in the yeah. when I first meet them. But you know, I think the, um, I'm curious to see how that unfolds and the tension between these two rival families and how that's gonna play out. I like that we're finally getting to the mystery of what's what's happening. I think that's when the show works at its best. Took a while. Yeah, it took a while. It took a while. Took but a while. The, the that's when the show works at its best when we're seeing these characters that we enjoy involved in this mystery plot. Of of what's actually going on. Yeah, it's like the first couple seasons got there pretty relatively quick. Yeah. To hook so. you, and, you know, like, what was the first season? The death of Hargraves, right? Yeah, the th yeah, that's what brought them all yeah, back to the house. The death of Hargraves, and then this season, and the second one was like, we're trapped here in the 60s, another apocalypse, and this one was... And they had to find this, each other. This one took a while. It was just like, okay, we've created an alter timeline, here's why Hargraves did it, and then now we're just adjusting, and... and uh, yeah, this, this one took quite a bit to get going, but now the, the mystery, I'm like, oh, finally. Hargreaves seems suspiciously normal to me in this season. Like, what threw me off in the, the last episode when number one was, like, doing a speech and he's like, sit down. And, like, Hargreaves listened to him. I was mm -hmm. just like, I thought he's, like, the actual leader of this group. That was, so that was odd that he's kind of, he's a little more, I like. Mean, it's kind of the demonstration bad. of what makes a Sparrow better is he can be at ease. That's oh, that's true. That's, Maybe I that's kind of how I, I took it. I, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> that like I do miss the hard ass Hargraves, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the one who's a little bit more involved in the mix of crime fighting. But everything is you know like they're the heroes. The Sparrow Academy's loved. 
Every morning, number one goes out there, works out, and throws something to the crowd. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> throws his wet, his sweaty yeah. ass towel, and they all go crazy. The only thing I'm concerned about is the fact that they're kind of dicks in public, but like, but they're also beloved. Kind of how we're talking about during the episode, they kind of have like a thing similar to the yeah. boys. And I'm like, does nobody see the like the the stuff they do in the streets? And like, they just like totally just like picked on a dude running and just like put him upside down in the middle of this public park. I was like, all oh, right. In the store, they let them go. Huh? In the store, you know, when she's like just munching on candy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That stuff too. Um, well, I mean, it's similar to the boys. I think what they're doing is slowly peeling back the layers, showing yeah. that now nah, they're all kind of messed up. Yeah. yeah I, I, we, we need to find out what's happening with Ben though. Cause Jesus, that boy is unbearable. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the writing and acting of it. Like, oh, the, it's, it's not meshing. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that onion gets peeled back. And we understand what took place in this universe or this timeline to make him that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it does always strike me. It pulls me out every time. I'm like, you just don't seem real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, I, I will say that the mystery of the season is really intriguing. The fact that they, uh, the, all their moms died before they were born. So I'm like, okay, we kind of... So do they not exist? I'm assuming that's the case. Because then with that dis, that um, throws away the the obstacle of running into doppelgangers. Because all their moms died before they were born. It says, yeah, that flashback we were seeing with Klaus, that was before all this, right? I, I assume that happened in season one. Yeah, or... Or so within that time frame. Yeah, because his hair seemed like it was short and a beanie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but also why would he have the checks of the people he paid off if they died? In this universe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, yeah, that must have been a... And he's just been holding on to that in his shoe forever. Exactly. And now here he is. Um, a cover, I, I I appreciate that uh, quite a bit. And I feel like there's... Uh, I mean, this whole thing with Grace, I like that they're keeping her a little bit evil uh, or mysterious in, in what they're doing. But I think we covered everything so far, right? Yeah, I, think, I think we covered everything so far. It's pretty we good. We talk about Lila. Um. Yeah, she's she's in it doing stuff. <laughs> doing stuff. Yeah, we need we need we need to see episode three. But she's she's there. Yeah, <laughs> she she's dropped there. off her kid last episode, and yeah, she's just she's struggling to get back home or wherever she's trying to get to. Yeah, I guess the mystery buildup has just been taking a little bit of a while for everything to feel truly intriguing yeah. in terms of like hook me into wanting to know how this right. is going to unfold. Right, but this is why this is all released at once. Because <laughs> yeah, <it's>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and most people will not take the time to just slow down and think one episode at a time. Um, <laughs> exactly. Because, but I think like the last that season worked so well one episode at a time, where I'm yeah. like, oh, I feel like I kind of have to binge this <laughs> in order to appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that bell. Leave a like. And last but not least, this is a patron. <laughs> Mikhail Linden. Mikhail, I just checked our email. And you increased your pledge? After all this time you've been with us, you just suddenly increased your pledge? Do it. Dude. <laughs> you fool. You idiot. Fool, why would you do you such fool. a thing? Oh my God. Oh my God, you think what? You think we would you really? Oh my. Extra was, stuff for this. What, like, that, you're not gonna benefit at benefit all it. from it. It's like, We're gonna benefit immensely. Oh my goodness, but, it's like an anti-discount. But dude, you're just, just like it's wasting money, money, man. Right now, just dude. wasting it. Dollars. Yeah, you're a. You could be investing. You're a sucker. You don't this, know finance. How dude. they do this in Sweden? Oh, that's embarrassing, affairs, man. Dude, and a new this wallet. This is embarrassing. That's how you go broke. Yeah, dude. Get no, refunds. Wallet and some no refunds. No refunds. No refunds. No refunds. No refunds. But you can write this off as a charitable donation. I mean, dude, that's so kind of you. After so long to be here, and then suddenly increase your pledge like that. Oh, it's another how much. I like that you waited that. I couldn't even keep a straight face. That is so embarrassing. You silly. Why silly would you man. do that? You're so silly, Mikhail. Embarrassing, God. Mikhail. Hey, hey, I'd hate to be you. Oh. I'd hate to see the look on You're everyone's face. Never gonna face see when that see money this back. <laughs> This is the one. Show it to you. <laughs> you're, Sorry, it's you know it's comedy. Famous. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. 
No, it's seriously not. No, in all sincerity, in all sincerity, that's pretty. That's really generous of you. We love you. You've already you've already contributed so much to our Patreon. You that are to, a staple. That to then suddenly increase your budget after all this time when we haven't even had been so busy, haven't really had a chance to interact. Um, that means a lot. So thank you for being you all this time. You sucker! Silly, you thought I meant that? <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. You no, never no. know. You yeah. never know what the truth it's is anymore. Just messing with you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you.